Du, 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 du. Hello YouTube, this is Tyler for Rod Reviews. Now, unlike all my other shows, I will be doing something a little bit differently today. Thanks to my friend Travis, of course, uh, he wanted me to help his friend out, and they kind of asked me what is the most embarrassing sing song out in um, modern America. Now, the easy solution would be either be, say, Justin Bieber, and then look like just a straight-up asshole about things. In the, you know, that's not how I really roll. I never listened to Justin Bieber. I don't know anything about Justin Bieber. Maybe if I'm a 14-year-old girl, maybe I will like Justin Bieber. But I do know a couple of songs. And it was really, really close. Let me be honest. Um, I am a fan of contemporary music. I'm not too big on Led Zeppelin. I'm not too big on the Beatles. Actually, I don't like the Beatles. But I do have a respect for them. But if after the 80s, uh, Duran Duran and uh, NXS and stuff like that, that's uh, that's where I really fit. And then finally, um, contemporary music like Tiesto and uh, Lady Gaga and stuff like that. That's where I really, that's my medium. I used to be the goth kid that was an only strip, typo negative. I still like typo negative, but you know what I mean. Um, I've become a little bit more eclectic. And I do some digging, and when it comes to the top 40 music, I, I, I try to listen. And there's been some good hits, and there's been some straight up shit hits. Uh, one of those would be, of course, Sexy and I Know. Yeah, when I'm at the mall, security just can't buy them all. That's a god fucking awful song, and I'll get more onto that later. But. They asked me what the most embarrassing song is. And it took me some time. It took me one day <laughs> to actually figure out what was the most embarrassing song out there. You might not know it, and I'm glad you don't know it. But the worst song, the most embarrassing song at that matter, is Drank by Girl List. Yeah, you remember Pussycat Dolls, Girl Delicious on the CW? Ring any bells? Fuck if I know. Uh, but apparently it was this reality TV show where the the last Pussycat Doll decided to make her own group called Girl Delicious, but she had a reality show and, you know, everybody, you know, it's kind of like American Idol for the CW, I guess. Long story short. They got the group, and um, they were called Girlicious. And rightfully so, what they did was that they decided to make it big, and they decided to release one single. Instead of singing a, a, a power anthem for women, they decided to make this electric beat, and god awful, it sounds like a Casio from the 80s, and just keep on looping it. Add two douchebags from Spose in it, and um, talk about how not if you don't give her a shot, she won't fuck you. Actually, you know, it's, it's just pretty bad. Let me just let you hear it for five seconds. In the next three minutes, if I don't get a drink, we see pink, we see pink. In the next two minutes, if I don't get a sip, we get shit, we get shit. In the next minute, if I don't get a shot, we get high, we get high. In the next five seconds, if I don't get a glass, we get an ass. Fan fucking tastic! Congratulations, you just survived the final test. And it's true that the world will be ending soon. Girlicious, of course, is probably one of the worst ideas ever made. Just the name is fucking horrible. And the sad fact is, after the single didn't make it big, uh, all of the three original members, except one that's still trying to make it big, left the group. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But it's pretty clear, it was fucking shit, and it was fucking shit to begin with. They're now on hiatus, and the only one that's going around still is trying, claiming that she'll be a star someday. Luckily for us, she only landed on the Jersey Shore soundtrack. 
And I'm pretty sure none of you actually bought that, or are actually watching this. So, what makes this song so bad aside from what you just heard? And if you're too fucking stupid to understand, this is the reason why, fucker. First off, let's just be clear. This song has a fucking repetitive, redundant beat. And it's worse than Sexy and I Know It. I hate Sexy and I Know It's beat. I hate Party Rock Anthem and it's beat. But this is fucking insane. It is the worst beat ever made. It just, it just bangs you in the fucking head over and over and over again. And it just, it drives you fucking nuts. It's from Acacia from the 80s. It sounds like shit. And they know it's shit. They only made a sample of it for like five minutes. And said, okay, let's add the lyrics. Which of course will be inspiring women empowering, and of course, you know, if she doesn't get a drink, she won't fuck you. This proves that this group not only is not empowering women, it demeans women! It makes them look gross, and it makes them look like they'll fuck anything after pounding down one Bailey's cream. I swear to God, this is just gross, this is the worst thing I've ever heard, and it's the most insensitive thing in the world, and if anyone believes that this empowers women, please read the lyrics. Not only is it redundant, and it's the same shit over and over and over again, but they're threatening that if they don't get shots, they won't get pink. I don't understand why the fuck would you put that in lyrics? And then... To slap everybody's sensibility, they decided to put the 303 rejects spos into the situation and add the total douchebagness in the whole fucking situation. Yes, I made douchebagness up. This makes me respect I am a walrus and yellow submarine. This makes me respect all that shit that came from that decade to a higher level. I'd put that in the fucking art museum before I put this shit in there. I swear to God, this is the most disgusting thing. It makes me feel dirty listening to it. And not only that, I'd be afraid to actually listen to the whole damn thing through. Simply because you might get the clap or another STD. It's just fucking gross. It just makes you feel like you're living in a gutter. It's, I just don't know how anyone can listen to this, let alone grind and hump on the dance floor listening to this fucking shit. So yes, if this is the most embarrassing song on uh, the planet, I would agree with it. And that that's saying a lot when I didn't put Sexy and I Know It or fucking Nelly's uh, Just a Dream up at the top because it's all whiny and bullshit. No, no, Girlicious has taken the crown at being not only the head bitch in charge, but the head slut in charge. So, if you're looking for anything that'll make you feel disgusting inside, and think that the world is going to end, congratulations, you found it! It's called Girlicious, and it's called Drink. And hopefully, hopefully this will be the last single that they ever made. The last thing that they would ever make, because now they're on hiatus, and God knows what's going to happen. Of course, they're going to try to aim for another sequel, uh, another single, but let's just make, let's just hope that they're not going to be like Hot Shell Ray or not anything of that other shit. So yeah, um, if they do get another single, that's the proof that end times are here, and that Ronald Reagan's going to come up from the dead, and he's going to beat us all into slavery, and then um, UFOs are going to come, and uh, Giorgio from uh, Ancient Aliens is going to get uh, ripped apart by a bunch of dinosaurs, a uh, hybrid uh, be between dinosaurs and aliens, and that the world will just blow up by, uh, through a giant nuclear bomb by Scientologists. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I hope they never get another single, uh, another sequel, <laughs> fucking shit, this, another single. So thank you everybody, thank you for asking me, what is the most embarrassing song out there? I hope this helped your friend out, Travis, because it really fucking pissed me off.